What's up, Cal Gang? We got this line in the grill problem on our hands. It looks pretty tough, right? I mean, there's some whole lot. You got all the variables in there. How are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna break it into parts. All right, so we're actually not even that far away from solving this, I guarantee you. All right, so we're looking at this, and we, what we wanna do when we have all these variables is we wanna turn them all into one variable, and thankfully, we have that right here. We have T. All of these variables are equal to T through some uh, form. So what we can really do is we can say this integral is actually the same as T it goes from zero to one. So X is equal to T, Y is equal to T squared, and then it's gonna be E to the T squared, because Y, and then Z is equal to T to the third. Now we have this dy at the end. What do we do with the dy? Well, we even just have it right here. Look, y is equal to t squared. So that means that if we do dy, we can say it's equal to 2t dt. All right, now we just replace this dy with 2t dt. All right, okay, so then it's 2t dt. Now we're looking at this and we say, not sure exactly, but we can figure this out. So let's simplify. All right, it's equal to zero to one. All of the t's come together to make 2 t to the 4th, and then it's going to be e t to the 5th dt. And now you're looking at this, you're saying, oh, that's a u sub right there. So yeah, we're going to do a u sub. We're going to figure it out. So u is equal to t to the 5th, du is equal to uh, 1 over 5 du. Uh, we'll just put it over here, t to the 4th dt. All right? Let's uh, reevaluate our bounds. So we're 0. Plug into this equation, it's going to give you zero. Give you one, it's equal to one. Big deal. All right, we figured it out. Okay. All right, so now we can rewrite this in terms of u. Let's bring that two out. And then it's also, we have to bring out the one five. Don't forget about that. Integral from zero to one, e to the u, du. Uh, pretty simply from here, you just say i is equal to two this. You know that this is just going to become e minus one. And there you go. That's how you solve the problem. This one's not so hard. Sometimes you just have to give it a shot and don't get overwhelmed by the amount of variables in there. It's pretty simple sometimes, so just give it a shot. All right, good luck on your Calcom workouts.